You heard three shots. Three shots all came from the same location. Uh, Evenly and, spaced or different? No, the first, well, I didn't hear the second shot, mm -hmm. so I only heard two shots. The first shot came from my right rear, and I was looking to the left, to the grassy area on the left-hand side of Elm Street. When I heard the shot, my vision took me to the right toward that shot, and so doing, my eyes went across the back of the president's car. I saw him grab at his throat, and he started to lurch to his left. Didn't move too far, but he started going to his left. I knew something was wrong, so I jumped off the car and started to run for the presidential car, trying to get there in time to get up on top to cover, because what we tried to do was cover and evacuate. And I was trying to get there to cover up so that nobody could do any further damage to the president or to Mrs. Kennedy. About the time I got to the car, just before I got there, the third shot I heard, and I felt because it hit the president in the head just above the right ear, right up in here, and blood and brain matter was spewing all over the place, including on me. About that time, Mrs. Kennedy came out of her seat up and onto the trunk of the rear of the car. She was trying to retrieve something that had come off the president's head and went to the right rear. I slipped at first trying to get onto the car because Bill Greer, the driver, accelerated the car. I gained my footing again, got up in the car, and helped her get back into her seat. When I did that, the president fell over to his left into her lap, and I could see the upper right portion of his head, a large hole about the size of my palm. It looked like somebody had taken a scoop and removed brain matter and just thrown it around the car, and there was blood and brain matter and bone particles all over the car.